Hello friends, colorectal cancer can sometimes be a very scary diagnosis. If you or your loved one suffers from this disease, please know that you are not alone. I am Dr. Manish Sharma. I am cancer specialist at Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute and Research Center, Niti Bhak, New Delhi. March is observed as a colorectal cancer awareness month across the world. And hence, it becomes imperative to discuss about this disease entity. Each year in March, we come together to spread the awareness amongst the general public regarding this disease. Colon and rectum are the last part of the large intestine from which the waste comes out. Colon and rectum refers to the last portion of the large intestine and colorectal cancers are very common all over the world, including India. Every year, more than 1 lakh new cases of colorectal cancers are diagnosed in India alone. In fact, it is a very common cause of cancer-related death across the India. Fortunately, it is treatable and in majority of the cases, it is curable. Most common patients with colorectal cancer do not experience any kind of symptoms. And sometimes they may have some blood mixed in the waist or rarely the patients with the colorectal cancers experience abdominal pain or weight loss. If you have these symptoms, please discuss it with a medical expert. It is also crucial to participate in proper colorectal screening program and in particular colonoscopy since the disease is largely preventable in older adults if diagnosed at the proper time. Older adults are at higher risk of having colorectal cancers but for the reasons which are we are not very clear on, the incidence is increasing in the young adults as well. If you have a family member, a sibling or a parent who suffer from the colorectal cancer, then your chances of colon cancer are also higher. People who suffer from different sort of tiflitis or Crohn's disease, they have higher risk of having colorectal cancers. There are large studies that show that there are diets that are high in the meat, low in fiber, obesity, diabetes, increased alcohol intake leading to the colorectal cancers. As well as smoking also increases the risk of colorectal cancers. Majority of the patients, they are asymptomatic at the time of diagnosis and they are diagnosed based upon the colonoscopy. The physician who is performing the colonoscopy would identify the areas that look abnormal and obtain the tissue samples from that abnormal areas. This would be taken to the pathologist, which is a doctor who would look these in the microscope. If the result come back as adenocarcinoma, which is the most common type of colorectal cancer, then you will have to go undergo some studies, including chest and abdomen and pelvic CT scans, some blood work and different form of imaging to determine the stage of the disease. These tests will help the physician to determine if the cancer has spread to other part of the body like lung or liver. The majority of the patients who have colon cancer will require some kind of operation to remove the part of intestine which harbors this disease. Most of the time, fortunately, the intestinal ends can be joined together and patients, they don't get the ostomy, that is, a bag which is kept on the abdominal wall to collect the waste. Most of the time, the patients, they will undergo an open laparotomy or some small incisions through which the, the instrument and the camera can be done into the abdomen and the operation can be completed. Sometimes, this can also be done with the help of the robot. The best and the safest way would be determined by the team of doctor which is going to do the treatment. Your physician will choose the best approach. Often the surgery alone can cure people, but very rarely the tumor has already spread to the lymph nodes. And in that case, you may require additional chemotherapy or radiation treatment as well. This will be determined by the treating team, which is best to take care of you. Once you have been treated for this colorectal cancer, you will have to undergo a regular follow-up visits. Most of this time, in the majority of the patients, this includes a colonoscopy. This is done to determine whether there is a recurrence of the disease or a new cancer in the colon. If this happens and detected early, 
most of the patients they are still curable with the help of the operation, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, or the combination approach with all these things. Thank you so much.